just getting ready to shave my face <laughs> hi guys welcome back so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I shave my face and I did a video like this on my vlogging channel about a year ago I'll link it in the description box below but it wasn't anything specific and I didn't go into details but in today's video I'm gonna go into details I'm gonna show you how I shave my face what I apply afterwards and just the entire process you don't need to put shaving cream or anything like that by the thumbnail you're probably like a girl what do I have to do I got you. I'm not gonna make it super complicated for you guys because it's really not. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna do the entire thing with no makeup on because you don't need makeup when you're shaving your face. And plus, I'm super confident with my skin right now. I'm so happy with how it's looking. I know I have like minor scars on my face, but that is nothing compared to how my skin was a month ago. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first thing you wanna do is just make sure that your hair is away from your face. I like to have my hair tied up just because I like it being really tight. That way when I shave my face, it's nice and pulled so it's easier for you to get a grip on your skin. So first thing I'm gonna do is just put this headband on. And I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe. I don't remember where I got it. And then I'm just gonna tie up my hair. I do recommend you do this after you come out the shower just because your face is nice and clean. And I like to do this in the morning time. That way by the time I'm gonna put on makeup, my skin is nice and smooth and clean for my foundation to go on. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do when I just shave my face is I like to take one of these erasers right here and you can get this at any drugstore. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it online. There's so many places that you can purchase this and it's not expensive at all. These are the Day Logic Eyebrow Shapers, and this is what they look like. I paid five dollars, and it comes in a three pack. I've been using this for a really long time. It's pretty safe on your skin. I used to get my face waxed, but I actually went to get a facial. Actually, my first facial at Kate Somerville, and the girl was so nice. She's super professional, and she gave me so many amazing tips. She told me not to wax my face because with time, my skin is just gonna get scarred from the wax. So I stopped doing that right away. She told me you can even use a razor to shave your face and I like using the sensitive ones I did mention this in my Ulta haul I did a few months ago it's really great it doesn't make your hair come out thicker or anything like that I feel like that's a myth I don't think that's real because I've been shaving my face for a really long time now and I haven't had any issues with my hair growing back thicker so you don't have to worry about that so let's get started because I want to show you guys exactly how I shave my face I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better so I have a ton of peach fuzz on this side of my face, on this side, and I also like to take off a little bit of my mustache right here. I don't really take off anything on my hairline because I like having my little baby hairs there, but I do also use this on my brows. So how I like to start is I like to just place it like this, upside down, and then I'll just pull my skin, and then I'll just shave up. Super easy too. You can just see that coming off. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it took pretty much everything off on the side of my face. I don't really have a lot. I feel like since I've been doing it for a while, my hairs don't grow back that much on my face. But I do have a little bit that needs to come off. And I feel like when I take it off, it makes such a huge difference with uh, my foundation and the cream products that I use on my face. When it comes to this right here, I also like to use the same technique. I like to just place it upside down, pull my skin, and then I'll shave it. It already feels so smooth and it is going to get a little bit red. I mean, it gets red, but after a few minutes, it just goes away. And after I put my moisturizer and all that good stuff, my skin goes back to normal. But a lot of people don't know this, but when I was a little girl, I actually got burned. So I have a scar right here under my nose and then I have a really big scar like from here to here. Fun fact. <laughs> um, so I also have a little bit of like fuzz under my lips and on my chin. So I like to just use the same technique, but you wanna be very careful because you can cut your lips. So I just like to pull it and then do the same. And 
this razor is also really awesome because you can even use it inside your nose. I don't feel like I have a lot of hair inside my nose, TMI, <laughs> but I feel like it does a really great job at just removing the little bit of hairs that I have right here. And I love removing those because when you take pictures, they do show up, so I like taking them off right away. As soon as I see one, I'm like, no, this needs to come out. I don't like to mess with my brows just because they're already really thin, and I feel like when I tweeze one hair, I want to tweeze out like a 100 more hairs. So I pretty much just like to take the little razor and just Pass it through the middle of my brows. I'll also do it on my forehead because I feel like I have a little bit of hair on my forehead. I'm done with the little razor and everything just feels so soft. Just to make sure that everything is completely off my face, I'm going to take a razor and just pass it on the sides of my face. I've been using a few products that have been helping with just fading my scars, but I feel like doing this will also expedite the process. So I do recommend this if you have any scars. Do this about once every two weeks and you're going to see a difference on the scars because it's peeling your dead skin and removing all those peach fuzz from your face. Now that I'm done shaving my face, I'm just going to take some wipes and just wipe my face off just to make sure that everything is off my face. Oh, that feels so good. This smells really good too because it's like tea scented. And I did go ahead and wash and exfoliate my skin prior to shaving my face. Exfoliating your skin makes such a huge difference, especially if you're about to shave your face because it just makes it easier and it makes your skin so much smoother. While you shave your face, you are peeling off dead skin. So exfoliating prior to doing that just prepares your skin. So I really love doing that prior to shaving my face. I will list down a few of my favorite exfoliators that I've been using recently, but now that my skin is nice and clean, oh, it feels so smooth. I'm just gonna go in and apply a little bit of moisturizer on my skin. I've been using the Kate Somerville Oil-Free Moisturizer and I love it. It's really lightweight. It goes on so easy on your skin and I just love how it feels. And the packaging is also really cool. All you have to do is press down and the product comes up. So cool, right? I like to put it on my T-zone and then I'll blend it all over my face. I also like to bring it down to my neck. I feel like a lot of people forget their neck, but you're also applying products there, so you want to take care of your neck. And I feel like as soon as you start aging, your neck is the first thing that starts, you know, showing. So take care of your neck, people. <laughs> so once I'm done with my moisturizer, I like to go in with sunscreen. You can use whatever sunscreen you want. Sunscreen is super important, especially if you're out in the sun a lot. So what I was saying before the leaf blower guy interrupted me is that I really love putting on SPF because I love protecting my skin from the sun. And not only that, but I've talked about this before, applying SPF on your skin really helps with removing scars from your skin. So I have been using this for a really long time and I love it. I've seen such a huge difference on my skin. So do not forget to apply your SPF on your skin, no matter what time of the day, no matter what day it is, no sun, sun, always apply your SPF. So this one right here is by Kate Somerville and this is SPF 50 plus. The higher the better for me in my opinion because I love protecting my skin and this one is like in that liquidy version. So I just apply a little bit on my fingertips and then I'll just work it into my skin. And don't worry about it being actually white because it doesn't show up on my skin and it doesn't interfere with the quality or the formula of my foundation. So we're pretty much done with our skin. I love how it looks and it just feels so much more softer and smoother and it's ready for my foundation and all the products that I'm about to put on. I do like to wait about 20 to 15 minutes before I put on any makeup just to let the moisturizer and the SPF sink into my skin. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and enjoyed it. And if you do end up trying this out, let me know how it worked out for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one very soon. Bye guys.